Hey guys, good morning. Tiffany here from Southern Gals Designs. Um, this morning I wanted to do a little walk through on making a mini album or a mini art journal. Um, for, you know, pretty much anything. You can put it in your purse easily. You can travel with it. You can use it as a travel journal. Um, many things that you can do. So I'm just going to walk through a little bit of the process. Um, what you'll be using today is, this is a, um, cardboard box, a lid off of a cardboard box that I used, and it measures... Uh, let's see. Let's see. A little shy of five and a quarter by four and a quarter. So that's kind of the dimensions that I used. And this is going to be our front and back covers um, to our little journal um, or mini album or we I've already gone through and collaged um, the cardboard. Um, I used some text out of an old book. I used some painted uh, magazine papers. Um, I like to incorporate those um, into it. Now all I'm going to do is just start with a little uh, whitewash of gesso. And the kind I'm using is Liquitex Basic Acrylic Gesso. Um, that's what I'm using here. And I'm just putting a little, you know, water in it and watering it down. I have it over here in my palette. And I also like for the corrugated cardboard to show. So I actually peel back some of the layers of cardboard and use that. I really love recycling products that you normally don't automatically think, uh, would be in a craft project such as the cardboard. I really like it. It also keeps stuff out of our landfill, so I'm all for it. And creates less garbage for my husband to take out, so he's all for that as well. <clears throat> and I'm not looking for a huge amount of coverage with this gesso. Um, I'm just looking for a good, this is going to give us a good working canvas that we can uh, paint on once all of this is dry. And as I'm sitting here drying it, I forgot I wanted to use um, this. This is um, joint repair drywall tape or something like that. And I picked it up at Home Depot. No, I picked it up at Lowe's. Whatever, a hardware store. And I wanted to use it as a texture. Uh-oh, I got a little ant running around on my desk here. I wonder where you come from, buddy. Okay, so I just wanted to put um, this in here. It's like a good texture base. And I meant to put that on before I dressed but oh well. Oh, goodness. How do you find the roll? Okay, I feel it. But yeah, all of this right here, which will last you a really long time, if you're using it for little things like this, um... It was like seven bucks or six bucks or something at my store here. So I thought we might play with it and see. How it, we could fit it into a cool project. So, all right. It's something about me getting on camera. My dogs decides to go berserk in there. So I apologize for all of. The barking that you hear the pup so I'm just gonna hit this with a little um, gesso yeah, the, the hardware store is like oh you're doing a little um, repairs or 
putting up some drywall. I'm like, uh, no. I'm not really using it for its traditional intended purpose. Like everything else that we can find at the uh, hardware store. Handy woman, I am not. So. And so for this um, particular one, I'm going to be using um, all of the jelly prints we did the other day. Not all of them, but the um, few that I did. And then I did some with spray inks um, in here. But just a few jelly prints that I did and some plain paper that I'm going to put in there. And this is going to be a little gift. And that was the gelatos. I think this was one of the metallic ones because I see that it kind of has a, um, that was the gel sticks. I talked about those. Um, and I, I really like the gelatos. They allow you to add a little touch of pop of color here and there. All right, so now on to the paints. And I want this to be very bright and fun, kind of like the jelly prints are really bright and cool colors. So I'm just squirting a little, um, again, it's just the craft paints that you get at Michael's or wherever, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, whatever you have that has a craft supply. I love painting with my um, fingers. And you know, these are just basic techniques that you can always um, build on. And um, they're just some very basic, simple things that you can do with not a lot of supplies because a lot of the things um, that we're using are really just recycled, um, you know, pieces that you probably have laying around your house anyway. So.
and I forgot to mention the holes that you see here um, these were put in by a cinch binding tool um, my husband surprised me and actually I had one that he bought and was waiting on me whenever I got home from work the other day so I was very excited about that mm. Kind of a little hard to draw on the mesh. Okay. And I'll probably go back with um, a Sharpie paint pen. Um, which pretty much draws and writes over anything because um, I forgot it in the other room. Yep, yep, sure did. And I'm just drawing out some flowers here. I've been on this flower. Um, kick. I guess it's spring. All the flowers are blooming. It's been about 70 degrees around here. Okay, and then what I'm probably going to do is um, put something like art on the front, but I just want to show you how I plan on binding this. Yeah, because I have a few seconds left, so... Okay, and I have some sorry silk ribbon over here in different colors that I want to do. Hmm. Let's see.
And there you have it, guys. You can uh, open it up. It lays pretty flat. Go in and I put uh, jelly on paper there and there on the inside. So cute little quick, fast mini album or journal. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you'll join me again. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.